August 31st, 2021, Tuesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord.